Good morning and welcome to wonderful Dalgetty Bay and with the hope that our connection is going to survive for the duration of this reflection but well let's just hope that the connection maintains we've not had such good fortune the last wee while but we can but hope and we can but just well get on with it really thought I'd come out today and come down to the beach for a number of reasons. One is that we know this is going to be a glorious day because although we can't see as far as we can some days, we know that this is just hard, it's going to burn off and the sun, which is already through, is simply going to get wonderful and stronger and be a glorious day. But also to come down here because we can, we can see further, we can see beyond even our own shore and see what is happening elsewhere. Not exactly see what's happening, but see what is there and see what the world is offering. Sometimes we just always look beyond our shores, perhaps seeing the grass is greener, perhaps wishing that we were there, <laughs> particularly these days, perhaps wishing we were further afield, but other times we look only to our own soil beneath our own feet, to our own context and setting and where we are. And we need to do both really. We need to be aware both of where we are set individually and as a community of faith and as a community in this place, but also to see how we fit in, how we are part and parcel of the rest of the world. And Today it's in sitting in this place. There's there's lots to to see, <laughs> lots to um, think about. Not least a lovely swing, which I may or may not have a shot on later on. I have to say at the moment it's probably a I may not, but you never know. Never say never. <laughs> that's for sure. But also to look across. Now there's lovely boats out moored on the water there. But as we look towards the the actual sailing club and again this isn't going to f <laughs> this doesn't actually um, increase its zoom I'm not sure why that is these days my camera's obviously not for it but I'll tell you what's there if you can't actually make it out what is there now is a huge site of various things and including the diggers and all the rest of it because they are starting have started the clear up of the radiation from the beach and that in itself has got quite a story and hopefully a lesson for us the the problem was buried <laughs> a long time ago um, and we bury problems as well don't we the problem was buried a long time ago and actually to be fair I don't think they realized they were burying a problem maybe they did and um, we'll give them benefit of the doubt on that one but uh, things were buried that shouldn't have been buried, left that shouldn't have been left, and it's, it eventually comes up. We can ignore our problems for so long, but eventually they, we've got to deal with them. Um, and in dealing with them, there are things that have to be accepted. One is, is whose responsibility is it to put this right? And that, of course, took a long, long time. But then there's also the, the long time to actually work out how you put it right. What is the best way forward for all of this. How do we make things right again? And certainly in this case it's not totally going to be as was. It's not a case of taking things back to how it used to be and, and all will be well. It is a case of needing to move on to what will be a slightly different landscape and a slightly different way of setting things up. Some things we put back in place thankfully but other things will just be changed a bit. And of course, the other thing is that as long as it has taken to get to this point, it's going to take quite a while to get it absolutely finished and completed and to have that site cleared again so that all the boats that have been moved to other moorings can be brought back. So, yeah, we can bury our problems and assume that they'll stay there, but most of them don't. 
You just <laughs> have to watch some of the great soaps and realise that even bodies buried under patios eventually are found and someone has to pay the price. So maybe we need to look and see if there's things that we should be dealing with now, which of course doesn't mean that they will be dealt with today. It just means that perhaps we turn around to face a direction which will eventually lead us to that way of solving that problem. But it's not a day for just looking at problems, is it? This has to be a day for realising that we live in a world that God has made and a creation that is around us. And even with the problems that we have and so many have and worst problems in the world that so many have, our God remains and will be with us as we uncover what needs to be sorted, be with us as we work through how that can happen will remain with us no matter how long that takes and it sometimes takes a while but you know what you get there in the end and a God who gives us hope the hope that eventually someone will notice that there's fun to be had there's playtime there's an opportunity when we really should be looking to see how we can enjoy life for ourselves and make life more enjoyable for others. That means taking part. And there perhaps is a problem for today for many of us too, how we get back into the world to take part. Because sometimes being locked down for so long gives us a different way of living. And being locked down and not taking part is not the way that God wants this world to work. So I know I will have to take part in some ball throwing and I can just about throw it far enough to get into the water so that she can at least get a paddle. The tide's a little bit far out for her today. But you know what? If we're meant to be having fun, well, if I'm not a Bible study, someone can come and find me still down here, enjoy myself swinging <laughs> from a tree on a rope and join the fun and even the branch looks strong enough even for me so let's look to see maybe even how we can help other people solve a problem in their life today or help someone to just take that step further out of their house out of their comfort zone out for a coffee or a lunch and get us back into this glorious world because we know it's going to work. You can tell the difference between a really horrible mist that's going to come down and enshroud us and a har that is slowly being burned away and will reveal the glorious sunshine and blue skies that will come today for all of us here in Dalgetty. So enjoy your day and as we pray today, let's not necessarily bow our heads, close our eyes and do a formal prayer, but let's look around and see what we are prompted to pray for. Prompted for those that we see in the distance, those who are far away, those whom perhaps we've been able to see in these past weeks, but also those who are not yet quite within that reach yet, not quite been able to see face to face, give them that cuddle that we've wanted to give them for such a long time. It'll come. But pray for those of our own family and friends that we're not quite seeing yet. But also for those beyond that horizon. The horizon is just the limit of our sight. It goes all the way around and there are people around the world who are in desperate need. Nepal, in Africa, in India, Afghanistan, oh we could go on and on because there are people who are in the midst of war and we pray for them and there are people who are in the midst of pandemic with few if any resources 
and few, if any, vaccines. We can't change all of it, Lord, but we can help change some of it. Show us your way. We know that there are people who are, are drifting on the water. Some know where they're going. Others hear the call of the birds, wanting them to go deeper perhaps, go further or come closer. But for those who are journeying on calm waters or indeed in the midst of storms, Lord, we pray, bring your peace. And for those for whom the problems are very real and very visible, experienced at the very heart of their souls at the moment, for whom there is hurt and pain and grief, and perhaps reconciliation seems far off. Lord, help us to know that you are at work, that you are there with us in the problems, but you are also working with others, and that it will come in time. You will show us the way. And Lord, for those who wait for us, who depend on us, who look to us to be a large part of their life, patiently or impatiently, Lord, help us to give our time and our energy, our gifts, to share them as we can, to ensure that every creature and every part of your world knows love and acceptance. Lord, we pray for those whom we will meet today, in the passing, or for coffee, on the phone. Lord, help us in our conversations to help them know your peace. And we pray for ourselves that today, as every day, we will know that you, our God, are with us. You hold us in your arms of mercy and you love us unconditionally. With all our problems, you love us. Amen. So whatever you're up to today, and you know, it's quite nice just to come and sit on a rock. <laughs> and actually do very little but look around and think okay and throw a ball enjoy your day enjoy this glorious weather and on this first day of june look forward to what will be no matter the weather a summer of goodness of love with god god bless you